Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cocktails with Brit. Ba -da. Brit has been a professional bartender at pretty fancy restaurants. Yeah. All around yeah. New York. Uh, right now at Romans, which is run by a very successful restaurateur that has numerous venues and it's very impressive. But we thought it would be fun to make a few cocktails. Yeah. And what came up first was... The passing, the passing Squall, which was the uh, title that Edgar and I came up with during one evening of watching some scary movie, I think. We are going to make a Passing Squall that Brit thought of. So the combination is a gin fizz and a... And a gin sour. A gin fizz is essentially gin, citrus, sugar, and soda water. A gin sour is gin, citrus, sugar, and egg white. And so what we're going to do, gin, citrus, sugar, egg white, topped with soda. Now listen, don't get paranoid about the egg white. Many, many beautiful cocktails that you've probably drank have egg whites. It's very common and it gives a certain body uh, to the yeah. drink. A creaminess, a frothiness. It's, the idea too was to take um, a classic gin fizz, which is bright and citrusy and great for summer, and turn it into something that's a little more holiday-esque. And beautiful and, and very impressive. And to very, guess. very passing squally. Mm -hmm. One thing is that Britt is going to explain some of the tools that she uses. And if I may just interject by saying this is a zet, uh, what do you call it? A, what's it called? A zester. It's a, what's that other word? I don't twister, know the exact... like a twist zester thing. Britt asked me, Do you have one of these? And I said, Yes, but it never works. And I go like this. I go like this. <laughs> I say, I go like this. And I can never get the strands. And Britt goes, Because you're supposed to use it this way. I will say this thing doesn't work very well for me, but I'm probably using that the wrong way as well. We're going to discover all this stuff. Why my shaker is apparently an amateur shaker, whereas Britt brought the real deal. Holy field. Let's make the animated passing escoal by professional bartender and mixologist Britt Gentleman, who also happens to be a freaking gifted actor. Thank Let's you. do it. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so yeah. first we're going to juice our lemons. Okay. We're going to add uh, about one ounce of lemon juice to the cocktail. And actually, there's a guy in New Orleans who invented another type of gin fizz. Sometime around 1888, oh, I think. Oh, I think I heard about this. By Henry Ramos. Yeah. Okay. Became very popular during Prohibition. And it incorporates everything we're putting in today, plus uh, cream, Ooh. heavy cream, Whoa. and um, vanilla extract. And the cocktail was so difficult to make, it took 12 minutes to shake it, that they would hire 20 plus bartenders on, on any given night to come shake the cocktails. We're gonna do a thing called a dry shake. And what that is, is all of your ingredients, the you egg white. You can do this guys, you don't got be this. afraid. Super easy, it's actually very easy. All your ingredients, the egg white, no ice. The egg white is gonna fold over roughly like eight times, which it expands and it collects all of those ingredients. As it expands, your, your shaker is going to begin expanding, and this particular kind, you're gonna run the risk of this popping off, you've got a whole mess on your hands. Whereas... It does pop off. These shakers, I seal them shut, and it's my hands that are holding them but together. But the problem is, to not scare you guys, you can use this yes. if you have to, okay? This is an impressive drink, believe me, I've seen it. But, you know, that is sometimes hard, mm -hmm. but it's also not hard. And it's nothing to freak out about, because eventually, you'll get it off. <laughs> We've got our gin. Oh, I thought you weren't going to use the botanist. No, I'm going to use the botanist. Okay. I'm not going to use the Heyman's. I like botanist. Okay, you can use whatever you, you want. You told me to buy Navy Strength gin. I said Navy Strength rum. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. All right, two ounces of our gin. I hold the jigger as close as possible to the mixing glass to keep from tipping over and losing an, any amount of your liquor. Booze. We don't want to lose booze. Um, we're going to do our lemon juice. And this is a full ounce of lemon juice. So now act like you're doing it for a client so that you can be fancy for a second. Mm. Yeah. And now the lemon. Mm. I'll be right with you. <laughs> now we're going to use our simple and syrup. And such a cute uniform. Oh, my God. If I was being fancy, I... <laughs> <laughs> you would, it would be in a bottle. Be in it a would bottle. be moaning, but it would be in a But it would be decanted. Bottle. We're going to mm. do half ounce of our simple syrup. If you like cocktails a little sweeter, go for three quarter ounce. I'm not judging anyone. So half ounce. And now we add the egg white. Okay, this is, 
New to me too. Don't be as scared. Mm -hmm. It's new to me too. Okay, so here we're And just if gonna... I mess it up, we'll start over because yeah, that, that happens. And guess what? If you mess up, you can just give him a beer. It's exciting. It's Your friends exciting. are going to be impressed. But oh, so cute, Britt. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, so green. Thank sort you. Of holiday look. Belongs the to you. Fish because it's a passing, passing, passing squall, squall, and the fish might get disrupted. So now we're going to dry shake. Do you want to feel what this feels like right now? And yeah, is it going to come out? No, it's not going to come out right now. Right. It feels very liquid. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to shake it roughly 15 seconds. And when you shake a cocktail, you can't worry about what you look like. You're shaking, the whole point of it is that you're incorporating all the ingredients. So if you're sitting here going, <laughs> you're not doing the job. <laughs> I think she looks pretty good. We've got a little bit coming out on the side. That's, see that foaming? That's okay. That's because the egg white's in there. I read online somewhere someone suggested wrapping a rag around your tins to keep that from happening, but we're having fun. Wow. I don't know if you can see nice it. Nice and there. frothy. Good job, Brett. Okay. She's, now she's putting the ice. Yes. Have an evening where this is part of the evening, is that somebody's yeah. making cocktails. Like we always tell you, do not have a fancy cocktail at a dinner party because somebody has to stop what they're doing to make it. Have an evening with snacks, the end of House of Dragons or something, mm -hmm. where you're having a special cocktail. So go ahead, baby, do, do your thing. Now I've sealed both ends, and now I'm going to vigorously shake this Some cocktail. Step out of the way. It looks pretty good to me. You want to shake enough until you hear those ice cubes really start to break apart. And the whole point of the shaking is to get the ice cube to hit one end and the other. So you don't want to just, okay. you want them hitting both ends of the tin. Okay. Oh my God. Got a nice frothy head on that. We're going to use our so strainer. So why are you straining it and straining it? So I'm double straining it so the cocktail itself doesn't get, you're not getting any shards of ice, oh. which... If you're shaking a dirty martini, a I like ice. a shard ice. Shard <laughs> ice is great. With this particular cocktail, you don't, you don't really want it. Oh, oh, oh! It's a cloudy day in London town. A cloudy day in London town. But wait, because something crazy is gonna happen. If we did it right, look at the passing happen. squall. Oh, it's a squall. What's happening? Oh my goodness! Here comes a little bit of seltzer. Just topping it up with a little bit of seltzer. Mm. Wow, Britt. Now, look at the passing squall. As we sit, you're going to see the two things are going to separate, and you're going to have a really nice head of foam on the top. It's already happening. I can show you how to garnish. You would use orange for this? I would use orange for this. You could use, you could use lemon. Now, here's the big mystery solved. Now, why didn't it go in like mine? Mine went in and was horrible. Because you dug it in like a... I applied too much force. You applied too much force. <laughs> you get a little too, too excited much, about it. Too much it. pressure. Yeah, a little yeah. too much pressure. Can I try to do one? Oh, you jerk. Now go ahead. Try. I think this looks really pretty. I was also thinking um, one fun thing you can do at home. Oh, this is much easier than the lime. Let's say you buy pre-made margarita. Totally fine. One fun thing you can do that you can't get at the store is to really work your garnish. Your garnish, if you class up the garnish, focus on the garnish, it doesn't matter what the cocktail tastes like because people love a pretty drink. Now this is a proper, actually this is a proper Look garnish. Look at the squall passing. Squall passing. I don't know if you saw what I did. She I cut off both ends of the lime, cut it in half. You're gonna do a little slit down the center like that. And now you have a beautiful little oh, lime wedge. Oh, it's so cute. Or we can do a little ribbon. How cute. The passing squall. The passing squall. Look at that. It does look like a cloudy sort of late afternoon sky. Mm -hmm. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's still passing. That's it's genius. Still, it's still passing. It's so great, Britt. Adding anything, any color you want to add is going to have this beautiful, you're going to have, have a, beautiful a beautiful violet, blue. You cure us out, which is disgusting, but it would make it blue. You could add something like a, a sunset after a storm color. Mm -hmm. I, I asked Britt to do the clear, greenish clear, because I thought it was more like, like a Cape Cod storm passing. And keep in mind, whatever color you add, literally two drops of it. But, it's but, not but like this. Yeah. When, when Britt sent me the video in her super cute uniform, she sent me a video where she dropped um, a color in the bottom. A, 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 a orangey color. Yeah, yeah, in the bottom of the glass before you pour it. 
Oh, I'll try again. Mmm. That's dangerously good. Dangerously good. That's got two shots of gin in it. Mm -hmm. I could probably drink one and a half before I would realize what I was drinking. So the passing squall for the beginning or end of your holiday season. Whichever you decide. <laughs> is a very delicious drink designed and created by Brit Gentleman, professional actor, and also happens to be a professional bartender. So Brit, here's to you, the passing squall. Cheers. I think I'm just gonna go straight to Thanks the Thanks for squall. having me. It's a cloudy day in London town. A cloudy day in London town. But wait, because something crazy is gonna happen. 